right? Oh, there's plenty of players that get the get the bump too early, don't they? And they're just not ready for that level of competition. I actually really enjoyed watching um, Mister on that team, another player from that Astralis camp. Um, that Astralis project is just a graveyard, isn't it? Of decent Danish players that got their one month stint and <laughs> not much more. Yeah, it was like team. the poison chalice, you know? It's like, hey, yeah, here's your promotion to the big leagues. You're joining the most storied roster of all time, and the expectation is to win immediately. No pressure. Just, you know, easy, easy environment to make your career debut in. We're into the pistol round, though. So uh, now in more comfortable environments, perhaps. Let's see if Sashi can outgun the guns. Is... By the way, I'm saying we wait for this. Yes. Okay, hits coming in. Hits coming in. That is the answer. Stime has hit the first. Very nicely done. They've now got the site. Bomb plant likely to happen. Cappy will collect one through the smoke, though. These are just random caps. And the poke in towards CT will be quickly rebuffed, but... Oh, they want to come in with two. Nice flashbang. Well done. Three players here, but it's an exchange. They now know where the retake's coming from. In response to that, Cielo gets the heck out of dodge. Easy runs down the con player. Now they've got a good position to play from. Smoke going to go up on the bomb, but without the hit, this is kind of an empty threat. While there is a tap, they're trying to find the kills. Now they're on it. Now Silter really needs to get a move on, a shake of the tail feather. And while he's dueling the one, the bomb's being defused right under his nose, and there's nothing he can do about it. Great retake. Well, they lose a lot of ground, but it's actually stay on the same page, and... In many ways, it's like a T-sided round and you're retaking on a pistol. Um, and of course, if you're going to play that sort of setup, you need to have that plan. So that's all the protocol. They've been through that many times. Certainly on Mirage, you're going to run a lot of retakes through CT on pistol rounds. Get plenty of practice. Um, just having a quick look actually at the... So the, obviously for the, for the guns, guys, I think we'll be forgiven for not knowing a great deal about them. I think many people, including honestly all of the teams... As NIP learned to their detriment, don't know a great deal. Uh, but in that game, um, it looks like um, Zylo, we're going to go for, played a really great series. Um, Sadame, who we've seen, I saw him very briefly with um, Amcal. He played a good series as well. So, yeah, I mean, some of the some, some of the newer names punched pretty hard earlier today against NIP. Indeed. It'll be interesting to see how that continues. It's always kind of cool to get upset like that. But players on your radar, Tinier doesn't have enough awareness on his radar. Blind side of my quest's forward position. The peak is towards lower though. Whoa, coming up nicely for Chavi eventually. He will be checked, but it's just easy. Low health. Not a lot to work with here. Yeah, so in fact, not to be easy. No. It's unfortunate. Quite difficult indeed. They're always interesting, these games, aren't they? Because you find out whether the the huge upset win was a fluke or whether there's something really to these teams. So it'll be intriguing. I can't imagine the Guns guys have played that many tournaments given their ranking. They played in Challenge League. They're in Challenge League in Europe. Hmm. Their ranking will shoot up if they're playing in Challenge League and they're just taking a win over NIP. They'll be way up. I would imagine. It'd be a whole lot better if you could also make it through to the event. On planet. Come on, easy. Live up to your name. Show us what can be done. Well, eh, not so easy. You know, getting a bomb plant out of it's not the worst thing in the world. No, they can buy again with that. And they with free kills, it means that... Sashi aren't banking any cash, so you should buy. Investment will come back in. Almost surely. Unless they're playing a very conservative game. Yeah, there we go. And another gun round. So what we get to watch. Guns looking to acquire their namesake. Smash right through this economy. No op just yet. There's no money to spare over for the Sashi side. I feel like 
you know that that uh, jump throw sound now being audible to your opponents. It's gonna lead to some interactions. I feel. It's a new world. It's a new world. Bars it really developing. is. And that is fifty nades. The aim is lucky to be alive. Mister, like to kill. That's over towards ramp. So the guns lads are trying to just contact, split this site. It's been a brutal affair so far. And we're near on 17 HP. And the bomb not in his possession. I'm not feeling this. All it takes is a headshot, though. All it takes... Well, it's a Galil, so maybe some more than just a headshot. Oh! Gone wide. Spells his demise. Mm. Nothing to do with an AK. Maybe it would have been possible. As as it is, this time, Sashi survive again, and no bomb plant. But, again, no money built up. Yeah. They're kind of they're kind of always playing with fire here. Let's see. I mean, it's a real shame Tanir didn't have the bomb, because he could just blind default, and then insured mm. the money. And they would have bought fully. And they've decided to go for a, well, we've got a hero AK on Tanir. Interesting. Don't dislike it, as long as you get some value out of it. Where is he? Oh, he's boosted mid. Nobody, uh, nobody peeking connector though. So, no chances yet. Cabby's one of those players which we've seen a few times over the years. Yes. He can play very good Counter Strike. It's almost been a bit of a surprise to me that he hasn't ended up on because he was on ecstatic MVP, but he didn't make it over to the game that is level project. I started from Lucky here. There's the big gun out of play. Tanir had the rifle. And now Iceberg starting to collect the pistol. Players! Mr. Overextends. Iceberg, they didn't realize there was so much presence towards mid. The smoke actually dies it off. It's not going to be a problem in the long run, but... There are just a few more casualties in a lot of these rounds than Sashi necessarily need to have. It's not going to go for that. That if Cheek could have had it, chooses the safer option. Feel old Hunden's eyes drilling into his back if he went for the cheeky play. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, Cabby, speaking about Cabby, uh, started out with the Lingby Vikings. You know, back in, he was on that team for like three years as well, back in the Bird from Sky days. Um, moved, made the move over from the Lingby Vikings, played with AGF, the Sonic, Static. He's been sort of, you're absolutely right, bouncing around the. Almost like the, the third or fourth team in Denmark for a long time. It has never gotten a call up mm -hmm. either to a heroic or an Astralis or really anywhere anywhere north of that. Kind of always, um, he occupied that awkward position of always being like the third best player. Yeah. So he's never quite in the in the crosshairs of the big teams. And at this point, you know, a little older than maybe some of the young prospects they're looking for as well. But very well rounded player. Certainly someone that Sashi are glad to have on the payroll. Sure. That was a little cheeky from Cabby. Just as we're singing his praises, tries to get a little uh, aggressive out of Con, pays the price for it. Lucky won't be able to escape with his one. So a man advantage for guns. And now this is a very dangerous spot for Sashi because the first round they lose could be so very painful. They're trying to avoid it being right now. It's just in a tough spot here. Look out by default. Oh, faces into the AWP, and that's exactly what guns were waiting for. Now with him dealt with, they know the site's likely clear. They're going to take this space, get the bomb planted, and Sashi, I mean, they could attempt this retake, but it's bold, to say the least, and Quez shows exactly why. Down he goes. Iceberg really going to try this 1v3? It doesn't make sense. There you go. Give it a look. With both of those saved, it would have wouldn't have been a great buy, but it would have been a buy. Um, there are no man's land now. I guess you full eco. What's the alternative? Force up with a couple SMGs. No, they're gonna play the long game. So at least at least guns they they kept a lot of rounds very close, and now that's paid dividends. And it's actually maybe a little bit sloppy. I think it's fair to say against pistols. About this game so far. 
Uh, this is the result. Funny, I'm almost conditioned from our last series to expect this USP buy to work out somehow. Iceberg's gotten a headshot, but unfortunately, his gun at not quite of the caliber to deal the killing blow. They are going into the stack. Pretty straightforward play into the stack. Right, if something was gonna happen, well, this would have been how it would, but it's it's not gonna happen. Cabby trying to play the patience game finds a Glock. That's important. They got so much money now. And Sashi's buy is hardly uh, perfection, is it? Too fam I. Nade is. Uh, nades are a little bit lacking. No kit, actually, as well. So that could cause problems. Let's see how they distribute the forces as we get into round at number seven, mister. I really want to get up into ladder room. The cabbie's here for the boost. And did they just miss the boost? I think they did. That late than ever, he's in there now. Oh. I know he's so far back. The x-ray makes me think I'm about to get an op peak. He might eventually get an op peak. They are setting up for an A-take. Plenty of utility for it. Looks like this is going to be smokes over and El Clasico maneuver. Hmm. Question is, do they put a smoke on ticket? Yes, is the answer. That should mean... Oh, they go out ahead of it. Lucky gets his one. That's all he was looking for. Now he's giving his team the advantage. Though Selter will take it right back. Question is, Cabby on the edge of smoke. Cabby on the edge of smoke. They're not looking for him. A classic cheeky play, and the veteran gets away with one. Don't really have the util for this retake, so a man advantage is a very important thing to hang on to. But now that the smoke's clear, guns don't really have anything to get this bomb planted. Crossing's going to be a very big risk. Ticket mollied off. There's far from any safe plant here, is there? Because as soon as Mister comes jungle, I mean, they have to find two or three frags or this bomb is not going down. Yeah. They just got to fight their way out of it. Tough fights indeed. Tanir, though, will collect the first. Ready for these ticket players. Planning for it. Never mind. I doubt Tanir, and Tanir is very much prepared. You. Well, we weren't on board there, but I'm quite sure Tanir found those two kills within a millisecond of each other. Mm. They must have lined up. Holy smokes. That that really that really was a 80% chance, maybe 90% chance for Sashi to win that round when they were four and three. I'm kind of stunned. Guns made it look that easy. Hmm. A few cracks showing, I think, for Sashi. There. I don't know exactly what went wrong there, but I don't think... I don't think that bomb should ever have got near going down. Hello? Oh, that's a nice headshot. Playing over the lift here in towards Pawn, cleaning things up, and a name to finish it all. The big Dar round for CLL. And that's a tied up scoreline as well. Guns coming blazing in, firing on all cylinders. And now, if you're Sashi, the money's back. You don't have the AWP, but you really do need to start asserting yourself here. So many of those gun rounds were so tenuous. And now guns need to be in the driving seat. This is super aggressive. Does a straight up catwalk. And he is going through the connector smoke. Does Cabby have any expectation of this? No. That is a whitewash. That is a bulldozer. They've absolutely steamrolled all the mid players. Asashi. Wes. Oh, delta away. 
And my goodness, I mean, these guns, they are giving you no mercy, no space. They're so quick into this as well. These last couple rounds have really accelerated the pace, and Sashi are decidedly caught on the back foot. Trouble on now, mm -hmm. and you're in that situation as well, where if you're a CT side, the, the money's never really going to get healthy through the last few rounds of this half. You've only got three to play with, and well, you might just need at least one of them to come your way. Yeah, the, uh, the cash on the T side tells the story that basically Sashi have found only a smattering of kills in the last few rounds. Mm. What a um, a turn this game has taken. This is simple, straightforward play as well, right? It works. You're going to go for another it A-take. So many teams overcomplicate Counter-Strike. You can get a long way playing simple CS. Especially on Mirage. We got some here. positioning here. Oh, Mister's going forward. Molly bottles him. Has to bail out of it. And now they know there's someone close at hand. That someone was getting risky as well. So extra Molotovs come out. Mister's getting made to oblivion. Oh, that's a little rough for Tabby. He does get his one. But all these cheeky spots, and they are not getting much to show for it. Tom um, will be planted just in case one other uh, somebody was hiding on site. It's faked, but uh, Quez, it's not long for this world. I mean, credit to guns. They're keeping these anti-egos pretty clean. Just by barreling onto a side together. Yeah. Sharp shooting. Yeah. Playing off of one another. Not really allowing the opportunities for multi-kills. Yep. Even when they lose somebody, the trades are just so quick. Somebody send this to Aurora. <laughs> you didn't have to do them like that. You didn't have to do him like that. Got him. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh my. Uh, Sashi needs some more rounds. Yeah, no kidding. They need some more rounds. I don't know that they're going to get them. This is looking pretty dire. I mean, players have been spotted getting in towards Khan. That's a nice find. I don't know if they saw another, but Mister's not going to be able to win out that duel. And now Selter's got some positioning, so it's really just about whether Lucky can do anything about this take. The answer is resoundingly no. The bomb's crossed. And the bomb is crossed. This is a save. They didn't so desperately need these rounds. It would definitely be a save, but instead, okay. Hold on. Hold up a minute. That's why they won't do it. That's why they're not going to play the conservative game. My goodness, smoke onto the bomb. Also, not really what you want in this situation. Oh, but he's got an AT of his own. Oh, oh, that was a little bait to set up Lucky for the shot. And there we go, Sashi. A less than probable retake, but they shoot their way back in and get a much needed fifth. I can't believe the jewels in CT went that well. Because they got Molly. They were forced to swing with mm -hmm. Sashi. Um, I'm a little bit perplexed, but in some ways, they just need anything to stem the tide, stem the bleeding. And Quez comes good when they need him most. Look at this, round 12, and we're straight into a double orb setup. Second, I guess, scooped off the ground. Okay, it Either way, change of pace. Second orb is where it's here, towards apartments. Let's see if Quez wants to get up onto a more aggressive line. Ooh. All right, Quez. An opener they need on a great old nice situation here. Bot on the smoke fade to near. It's his. Out of black. Had a monstrous half so far. Now mid control definitely being seated. They're trying to play a bit of a contained game. Oh no, they don't realize. Iceberg figures it out in time. Looked like he was going to get flanked out, but sniffs out the window presence. I want another look towards mid. And he's going to find two? They're just not prepared for the re-aggression. Selter will catch that, but it's way too late. Bomb's now down in control of Sashi. Gonna need a monstrous individual play for this to work out. You need a lot of headshots. With the smoke still up, he'll find some space here in calm, but as soon as that Brick's Peak comes through, it might all be done. Ooh, 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 a little tickle on the first. Just trying to stall here. Good flashbang. Nice individual play. And Sashi not it up at six. Look at that round timeline, Alan. We'll be right back.
Second half underway. It's all knotted up, but uh, what a round timeline. We had at four rounds to start from Sashi, six rounds uncontested from Guns, and then a little uh, a little chaser on the end for Sashi to bring it up tied. Let's hope for a more competitive back and forth affair. A little bit streaky in the first. Yeah. I think as well, I mean, those last couple rounds for Sashi come off the back of a, frankly, very risky retake. So, could have gone a lot worse. They're going to be pleased about that. Aggression through middle is checked. Cabby finds a cheeky self there going looking. Guns played a pretty straightforward P side. I'm kind of curious about what kind of depth they're going to have here. On the I'm defensive quite surprised path. how committed they are to B with no info at the moment on the CT side. I guess just the fact that there was one lurk top mid, they're assuming there might be apartments presence. They were right about that, just they've also gone underpass, so... Uh-oh. Anir, only presence on this side of the map, trying to find his pound of flesh, and he'll take two. The bomb should be planted, but it has cost them dearly, and now this retake is the potential. Anti-flash play, Tanir finds another. Chewing through his opponents right now, and that's a very clean retake out from Guns. Sashi will, will regret not sending more than one player to clear jungle. It's not enough time for Tanil to take a fight, reset, choose his new angle, take another fight. More could have been done. Sashi had a man advantage, and as we could see from, from the overview, is they actually made a very good call to go in towards A. It was largely undefended, so... 
It's a little bit disappointing. Bomb though, planted. Four spy to follow. Three gilils. Lucky yet to buy his uh, primary. Rounds can be dangerous, but actually, actually don't have many much util to work with, so. Let's be frugal. Can't burn too much of this. Just take mid control and such. Ooh, bad miss there for easy. How's he orping? Tineer uh, dropped it, right? Muscle. Pres presumably, yeah, Tineer. That's, That's the only way the math checks out. Will have been a bit of a rude surprise, presumably on Versace as well. That they expected the off from there. You can see they rerouted, right? Going for the lookout of ramp, and then it's like, oh, oh, nope, 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 back away. They don't really Please have the no. use of the deal with one either. No. They need to just pray they avoid him. Cheeky Molly straightening towards the ladder. Just trying to draw focus smoothly over towards Cactus. Here comes the hit. That's the bomb. Stime has found it. Face first. Nice play from Tanir again. Proving himself to just be the massive roadblock for them to contend with. They still want to deal with him because they know that he's low, that he's been pressured. That the op is nowhere at hand. Nice shot from Lucky. Playing the lip there beautifully. Easy in a 1v2. Knows he's got the plane there to deal with in this con player, so he'll try and isolate the fight with the con player first. Has some time. Has the kit as well. That's going to be crucial. Gives him time to go chasing for this, but Lucky right on the money with the crosshair placement. And the head served up on a silver platter with an op to boot. Good stuff. Really good stuff. Um, Sedain there was... Way out in the open on ramp. I'm not sure we expected players to be so close. And despite Tania's best efforts, find ourselves seven apiece. Forced by, of course, back into guns. Uh, we were, I don't want to say blessed, but presented with a litany of forced by wins earlier. I'm not going to go through that again. Yeah, I can't imagine we could get two of those. But uh, we may not have to imagine. We'll find out. Nice tag early. Would have liked to frag, but Lucky will take the damage. Got Selter in the ladder. Is he going to get the targeted Molly again? Yes. Yes, he is. This time he's relocated early, though. Can't get back into that. That seems to be a very deliberate approach here from Saki. Cielo's been boosted up in an inch spot. Keep an eye on that. Oh, my goodness. Uh-oh, they're in trouble. They're in trouble, and they still don't know about the cheeky player here. Even with that down, now CeeLo strikes, and there's the alt found. Uh-oh. Sashi walk right into the trap. Here we go again. Here we go again. Yeah. Very common of the B splits on, uh, on Mirage, and Sashi spent nobody, uh, you know, probing before they committed. Sometimes that's going to happen. Yeah, actually an eco. Wow. Okay. The next, the next buy will not be brilliant for Sashi. Had to get some galils for nades. So good chance for the uh, the Russian team, Russian majority team. Bank some money. I feel like Tinir was too inconsistent. He had... Do you, do you remember the first few games we saw of him where he just went absolutely yeah, nuclear? <laughs> he was on they Mirage as well. Brilliant. Had us really excited. And then, yeah. I mean, I, I mean, he's a young player. I'm not surprised, but... um. Oh, near here. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Bad the stats. Eventually overwhelmed, but this should be no chance. They know where this last player is, and... As Cabby tries to get his hands on a gun, there's just no way. Just no chance. Make sure the most valuable guns are brought through into the next. And now Sashi are back on the rifles. But no, I, I think as well, you know, when we think about the, the times that we saw him on uh, Forza, 
realistically, he was also often playing like third star roles, right? After Selther and Chalfi. Um, there wasn't a whole lot of uh, sexy spots, I think, available for him. So still had some good, good games considering that. Here. One, only one. Very much in the thick of things this time around. And Sashi with even exchanges, I think you're going to be pretty happy. With. Want no way. Sooner rather than later. Easy? Check him PC. Can't finish the kill, but that one. <laughs> that one would have been ridiculous. What a bizarre exchange. Well, Sashi, 3v1 now. Iceberg's Here. the low HP player, and he goes looking. Cheeky angle. Oh Does not net a frag. That should certainly compel Quez here to think twice. And you can see Lucky's taking the space. Fires a shot. Doesn't get the kill. This already feels like a lot more jeopardy than I ever would have expected. See the endless mind games. Now the CT players back to B thinking, well, they're not coming A. Now I've shown myself. You'd be wrong. Reroute cat. If the plant default should be all good. There's a molly and a nade to work with. There's no kit. Kit would be nice. Don't open it down. Now we're going to escape. Lucky's going to duel. Oh. I think the player's still been towards firebox, but they both slipped towards CT. And Aim is not quite ready for this. Extra Molotov. Doesn't quite go deep enough. Will not shake Lucky out of his position and. Haven't gotten no fights, haven't gotten no action. He knows there's just not enough time to get this full 10 second defuse done. So, out of there he goes. Looking for one more exit, and an exit he will find. Okay. Guns might pause because their money is a little precarious. Pulled it round for, for Sashi. As Lucky continues, actually playing a really good game with the rifles. I think that's where he got most of his kills. Um, remember that their their CT campaign was riddled with low money. So losing so many on the trot. Kind of for both teams here. The cash is really in the balance. Nobody has a great deal of loss bonus. It's a bit of a swing round to come. The winner of this, the winner of this was, remind myself, Game Allegiance Saw, isn't it? The other one. Yes. That's currently, where are they? Second map. Game Allegiance picking up the first. Looking very good. Again. What map was that is the real question. Inferno. That was Inferno again. Yeah, okay. So another strong Inferno coming through from GL. Nice to see. Did we mention the veto for this, by the way? Um, no, we did not. We've got Nuke next. That's Sashi's pick. This is Gun's pick. And then Anubis is a decider if we get to it. Yeah, we don't know much. Let's just quickly compare, I guess, to the NIP V to if there's any differences. Um, From Guns? Yeah, I was checking. I think we can assume that based on the fact that we didn't know who their fifth was and before today, they might be playing some of the... Um, Looser maps, shall we say, if they have their choice. So they played some Mirage and Nuke. The first maps here. And those, those, those are the maps they smashed the NIP. 13 6. I'm doable here. Okay, nice. Still going through. Easy connects. An advantage now established. These players are caught in a crossfire. There's nowhere to go with it. Cabby has to shoot his way out. He's found one. Targets on the jack and oh, 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 easy will not be missing here. It's some strong individuals that are propelling guns through this, but strong individuals they seem to have in spades. Tanir 22 and 12, easy 14 and 9, Stame 15 and 10. The numbers are looking pretty dang good, aren't they? For this gun, millimeters as well from over time in a minute because they've just absolutely dumpstered. The money from Sashi, it's a it's a 1400 force buy for them. Even Utah's a bit sparing. And what is the call going to be? I'm surprised they're so spread out on a round like this. You feel like 
Your best chance might be the group and do something incredibly simple. Um, we got maybe Lucky's going to throw a set. Fake A and then something like a window boost. That seems like the only option to me at the moment. Oh, over the smoke. Spotted. Quest is trying to be cheeky. Sniffed out and now a weird little swap of ruined jungle. Cabby in trouble. Cabby. Gotten rid of. But it all falls to Iceberg who finds that his teammate has melted away off of this one. Nothing doing. Very comfortable for guns. And they'll bring four of those into the next round. They're playing very default Counter Strike, but it's working. Can't yeah. fault them. Um, and now it's a full eco, so it should it should a minimum be twelve to eight. Nobody would have expected this coming into this series. Oh, there's tournament all in for guns. Again, more proof that we need more of an open circuit. I look forward to teams like this uh, causing problems. All through the air for the big guns. Oh, this nade feels like it's going to be chunky. Come on, Nate. Yes! <laughs> Woo! God, I love a good chunky nade. Is that like 300 damage or something? That was wild. Oh, it was a kill and like three assists. I mean, he then collected the kills, but man, that was a chunky nade. Wowzers. Just four unarmored players. Just melt them. Oh, boy. Oi. Oh, yeah. With how often nades just kind of um, tempt us, tease us, look like they're going to be meaty, and then do nothing. Blue nades. That was, that was a release nade. That was beautiful. Well, we need some magic, don't we, from Sashi? I think this bowl... Might be running out of steam. Mister, though. What the heck? In his horn. Second one found. Cabby. Eliminated. Not gonna be. What? What? He was dead to rights. Oh, and how has this happened? He I was don't. Dead this, to uh, rights. Uh, many, a, many a time in this round, I've been. That. What? How did Mister just get too ramp at the start? I, that I don't know. But I, was that a like one sixty? What? What? What was that? It's, I would love to see that shot. I don't understand. Perspective. The mind is is a little boggled. Now it's Seltzer against two here. Better be expecting him. Even if he just gets one, that's plenty for his team. There's the one. Yep, found. Second goes the same way. Guns confirm Mirage. Another startling map coming through from them. As we said, playing very straightforward Counter-Strike. Very light. Obviously, they don't have a lot of depth to the playbook, but damn, is what they have effective. My goodness, Alan. I mean, Tanir was monstrous <laughs> throughout that game. I haven't seen him play CS that well since before... Into map number two. It's Nuke, Sashi's pick this time around. Let's see if they can have a better showing. Because that one, I'm sure they're going to be a little disappointed as. Uh, probably terribly complex against me here from guns, but dang, were they hitting some shots? Were they looking clean? Were they well coordinated when they were taking sights? Looked very nice for a team that, you know, may be in the flux of actually figuring out their fifth. There was uh, quite a bit of cohesion, I'd say. was see if it rains onto nuke as well they have so many players here on a and actually they done very little to prevent the vent dive still five players alive for the t side you don't see that often no indeed full 10 alive host plant what do we got 
Through they go into the breach. Icebreak's been melted, and he is indeed the first casualty here. There is an exchange. There's no kit either, so guns need to get on this bomb defuse rather sharpish. And it's going to be Tanir, well, who had the thought of sticking it, and uh, that thought will be answered. Running out of time. They're going to win this on the clock. Lucky just needs to pull this last player off. Lucky needs to pull this last player off, and he'll do them one better. There's nothing Cielo could do but try and stick that and desperately hope it would come through. With Sashi's pistol around to boot. Nobody panic. It's all good. It's all good. Okay, important pistol. Sashi just to set the tone. Now, what we did see was uh, forced by shenanigans that went the way of the guns on the first map. So, you're not full foul if you're Sashi this time around. Uh, they'll certainly know it is a force buy, especially now they can see some util. And look at this. Super aggressive out. They're just swinging. They're getting aggressive. Making moves. And it is a brutal exchange for now. What is going on? Everybody's flinging themselves towards Alta. And it's a mode out. No chance. The MP9 doesn't work for me at that range. Hmm. You just skill issue. Needs it's more to be better. Yep. I'm actually stunned that a team with pistols and SMGs just fought out of like that and overworld rifles. Mm. However, they've done it. It has been plenty. Counter spot the last. Be a third kill on the round. And Sashi, they left licking their wounds. They got four rounds on Mirage before guns came in blazing. Now, not so much. They're in a lot of trouble. It's going to be a forced buy into this one, and this could be a very rough start to their new campaign. You can spiral. You can spiral these early forced buy losses. They've already lost one player for a squeaky door. Whatever their plan was, surely it's thwarted. And I'm kind of surprised they still get to commit. One player down the vents. Where's the bomb? The bomb's out of the ramp, is it? I'm not sure what the plan is here. I don't really know the plan is to get headshot by staying. Well, he will just leave Lucky burning! Man, just slip away, Quiz. Has a rifle to his name as well. There's something cooking here, and they've met up down lower. Bomb's going to be planted. This retick is not exactly ideal. No armor on Quest, which is going to make this a lot easier. And now, well, it is just that unarmored player. What can you do for us, Quest? Can you stop this defuse? No. Absolutely not, Tanir says. Time of plenty for the defuse. Guns can be retrieved. That's all good for guns. The bomb plant may give Sashi a little bit more fuel to cook with in this next. I have a great line in the military that no plan survives first contact. I think that was that round for Sashi. I don't know what they wanted to do. It felt like some sort of double pump on A with some early util and wait, see what's coming, then go again. But they had to just work it on the fly and it's always going to be more ragged, isn't it? Um... They could choose to rebuy, but instead, just a smattering of deagles, the one scout. They will look to get rifles in the following. This round's really um, always more than anything, just to limit economy. Beefy. a scout headshot or 12. First shot goes astray. They know where he's at now. Oh, they make him be chunky. Oh, what are they going to do with the guns? Who needs utility when you just shoot hard? Not a bullet of damage taken in all those exchanges. 
and guns starting to build up some bank. This is what we saw on Mirage. It's just vastly accelerated here, right? Once they started winning gun rounds, they did so cleanly, and that money built quick. Indeed. Um, no orb over the defense because nobody died, so we can't bring one out without sacrificing a rifle. Choose to allocate the forces. Double ramp, it looks like for now. Same here. I feel like getting aggressive. In the smoke. Love it. Malt up to try and force people in towards the spam second. Malt, not sure where that one landed. The map can be deceiving with that. That's a very tough. How are they doing HA. no damage? Uh, the landing is behind the, the little vent, the little yeah. uh, air conditioning thing. It's a shame. That, that actually would have been, if he had a slightly different line, that would have been a kill. Mm. Oof. Well, that is. That works. Mister was just up there pranging. They didn't find a way to isolate him. Indeed, they did. Now, oh, Iceberg looking to sift his way through, but Slucky finds an entry and a second from Quez. Tanir looking off of his own flash, but Quez is ahead of it. And this has now gotten very messy indeed. Easy up the vent into a one for one exchange damage down from Celta. A two on two, but it's still very much anyone's round. Celta's gone low. Fame is going in towards lobby. I don't think Long they're going to expect this. Way. I really don't think they're going to expect this. They know it was garage and somewhere around heaven. Where he's looking in this direction. That's an important jewel. And Cabby's got a lot of work to do now, and he doesn't know. He doesn't have a clue, surely, where Seltzer is. I did together, and they won't actually need to. Nicely played. It'll be time enough for the defuse, and it's four in a row now for the guns. There's actually a round here where old plant explosion bonus would have made this a buy for sure. Mm. Um, they're still going to go in, but it's going to be Galil's instead of AK's. By the looks. Um, maybe Sashi should do some pauses. They'll be in the lower bracket before they know it if they don't slow this uh, this absolute tidal wave of CT rounds. You can just economically you gotta get some damage out of these. Oh, Quez has made his way down. That was a very lucky smoke pop for him. It was like one pop covering him off, and it's actually gotten him down the vent. A kill for Lucky as well as CLO wanted to get aggressive. And now things are looking very good for Sashi. Indeed, this could be the round they needed, but now you gotta see it through. You got the positioning, you got the player down lower, you've got the man advantage. This has to deliver results, and Tanir had no idea Quez has made his way down. So now they're going to try and link up through outside. It's basically on Selter to stop this. If Selter can find a big multi-frag, the round is still on. But as I say that, they've even decided to just avoid him. Walk wall outside. Bomb's not even moving this way. Selter's going to come through the wall. Oh, and he is going to catch one and get the information as well. So this is not done yet. There's still things in it. And Stame's timing is perfect. That's the bomb drop. That's confirmation and on a line. Oh, easy thought he'd get a little bit more out of that one. I don't know about sticking around now. What? The no scope? Are you kidding me? Lucky. Landing outside the hut. He'll at least get the numbers down. The health is gone. Have to be headshots. He knows where they both are. They are both so very low. Quick burst from the Galil will do it. As they encroach, time is becoming an issue. Lucky, can he hold his nerve? And he's looking the wrong way! All oh, the footsteps have timed out to perfection! Bomb has been defused. This is crazy. I have, I'm struggling to get my head around this game. Because guns... Guns are not playing like a team that's got very little... experience... End of and as a five, of course. Um, <laughs> actually, no scope from easy. 
There's some players. Simple's quite a good example of it. some players that are just so audacious. Yeah. And they just. It's actually egregious how often it works. Yeah. You know, we talk about Counter Strike as a confidence game, and then there's just like the exact illustration of that. The play that so many players would just never even think to attempt. Well, his name does exude some confidence. True. Sashi's Sashi's approaching troubled horses. They also never really troubled this gun's economy. Um, nuke isn't the CT bloodbath it used to be in days of old. You need T rounds, you need some scope, you need some wiggle room, and right now they have none. We already saw one absolute shellacking on this map. Wasn't this is already better for Sashi, and I wound up being for even exchanged early with Iceberg traded back out. Not exactly ideal. Oh, Silo's getting a little cheeky here around the smoke. Gonna back away. It seems to me that CT's giving vents a lot more attention given the number of vent dives. It's going to get down quite a bit. Quez was waiting for that. But just as soon as they get a kill, it's traded out, it feels like. There can be no sustained advantage here for Sashi. Smoke on towards mini. This might allow them to plant. Ah, uh, excuse me? These spams are actually egregious. Unreasonable. They know there's a play in the vent. That's going to keep Quez stuck. Yeah, I can't quite what? Box. What? Again? Another one! Alan! You can't be doing this! This is the ESL Challenger Atlanta 2024 EU Close Qualifier! This is an FPL! Yep. Surely he doesn't expect the players to be in. Quest doesn't know. I can't believe he's well, looking he towards Hart, man. No! He doesn't have confidence in it! Because how would you? How would you expect that play? This man is a madman! He's unhinged, Alan. I can't. I can't believe it. I. I can't remember the last time I saw an author playing this confident. Genuinely can't remember. Not in CS2, that's for sure. <sighs> and Sashi don't even pause, babe. It's actually pause for four Galil. They're rattled as hell right now. Nice shot from Easy. Another one from this guy. Stop peeking just, this man. I just want to see the no scopes now. I oh got one button on the mouse. Lucky trade it out, and Seltzer takes one more. This is now very dire for Sashi. I don't even... It's hard to put your finger on what's wrong, too, because it doesn't even feel like they're really making a lot of misplays. It feels like they're putting themselves in good positions and then just getting no-scoped. Okay, finally run down, and in that moment, he's traded. I mean, they lose a couple guns, but... It's going to make a huge difference, the way this is heading. Sashi burning their first pause. But they don't have the money to invest. The best they can do is half buy. Um, this is nightmare fuel. They can't kill easy. At least on a, on a gun round at the moment. I would love to be a fly on the wall in terms of what Sashi kind of diagnosing the problem to be for them. Seems to me that these guns players are very intent on playing like they're not full on aggression. It's like semi aggressive positions where they can always react quickly. Love playing up close and personal. 
Oh, pop. Oh, Tanir almost got one off of it. Going for the vent dive. Tanir want to chase it? Why okay, did they give ramp? The ramp play. They gave ramp for some reason in the middle of that. Entirely. Trying to reflash into it. I don't know what that was. A predictive play, perhaps. As it is, it's now a prime opportunity. Taking into tech nines, this now worked beautifully in their favor. The bomb's ticking away. The first kill goes to them. Guns might just pull the plug. They're doing it. They're backing off. That was uh, that was a serious mistake, but it is going to finally allow Sashi their second round. I just don't really understand. I mean, it's quite an overreaction. They should have read the money that gonna be a half by why does the ramp player come up into heaven i'm guessing the ramp player came off and into heaven with the a pressure um yeah over rotations fight hard there you go oh not quite retreat much neater down for sashi off the back of their first pause called the hundred effect Now, maybe a chance to regain. Look, if they can battle back in here for four or five rounds, that would be tremendous. Big if. There's plenty of money on the other side, so the reinvestment does come through. That bank has shrunk a lot quicker than you maybe would have imagined. The reality of the CT side. Shelter are getting aggro here outside. Do they clear him? No, is the answer. He's just spotted iceberg. He, he was seen. He was seen. He was seen. I, I think he just flicked that check so fast he didn't even realize that he'd seen Mister. Two cracks starting to show. And now we need an outplay. Guns have given A in favor. Playing double ramp here at the moment. They've got one player in here, probably in heaven, I guess. Yeah, Tanir here, side by the AC units, and for now, oh my goodness, what a what it's a guess! Right I mean, they're in the right place. Right, oh, slash your cover right to them. Yeah, up on this. Oh, not the second time. Is he still gonna get his? Those are the rifle dives of the plane to retrieve it. And Gabby's just trying to keep that bomb in his grasp. Very wary that someone is taking lobby control. I can't believe it. Pinched. Tried to stall for misses, and here goes back to look for it. Iceberg's up from down below, and it's so chaotic now. Pass through bomb plants, perhaps. Third. Oh, chase of bullets, though. Cabby lucky to slip that one. Trying to get this bomb down. The door's now open. There's no one to get it over. No one to play, perhaps. And it will indeed be the round for Sashi. It's chaos. Um, there's a moment there where guns were getting surrounded from Radio Hell and Fire Through Secret coming up ramp. <laughs> they actually did pretty well to survive as long as they did. Hmm. Well, Guns did win some very unorthodox rounds in this half, and I wonder if the pendulum of luck has started to swing away from them. Look at the buy as well. I mean, they could actually have ecoed here and got a full buy out in the following, so this is a risk. Wow, okay, nice shot first, but lucky back there as well. He's gone up on the roof. <laughs> they just keep going forward. They just keep going forward. And Quiz is able to deal with it. Sashi right now just wondering where the next hit's gonna come. Someone's still walking through it. Selter this time. That's the bomb. Oh boy, and he's ready for the next as well. Leaving Quez in a 1v2 with a lot of ground to regain. Not a lot of information as self to reposition. They don't know the bomb was. I guess they didn't know the bomb was there. No, he would have spotted it on minimap. You can't believe Tanir was so slow. He'd want to join his teammate. Tanir's here now, and Quez. Uh -oh. Yeah, he's not going to expect to play so fast in behind. Tanir can just walk risk. up and catch on the plant. <laughs> the force by works, and of course it does. Eight for guns.
This is a, I mean, this is a monster showing from a team that I don't think we had any expectations from coming into this qualifier, frankly. 80th ranked team. A team with players that we've seen very little of before. Pulling off some strong upsets. Already took the number 18 team down in NIP. And now Sashi ranked 30th in the world. I mean, if they pull this off, if they can close this map, they're going to be shooting up the rankings that's for sure i think they will be anyway at the rate we're going but yeah even higher and where are the other games that actually we've got game legion saw that was just gone into a third map decided that's vertigo um elsewhere aurora have just lost map two yes they've just lost the second map pretty handedly that was their pick we're also having to, aurora actually picked a map they've never won right there with dust two um, why not? And Monty, a one map to the good over NIP. Any times across the board. If guns win this, that's going to be one gnarly lower bracket. Yeah, no kidding. Yellow's got the first. Looking like a ninth round. Going their way. Cabby through the smoke. Cabby straight into the crosshair. Not ready for this. There was no flashbang for it. And they just continue to dry fight through. Back in utility showing itself here. What is this? <laughs> On the edge of the smoke. Oh, but it all falls to Mister to somehow pull a round out of nothing. Three targets to find. Very little in his favor. The bomb in the clutches of the enemy. As he inches forward, his first flash bang will be dealing with the first player. And he's a little too quick into the angle. 93, we'll be back. When I 
Back into the second half, and this one's looking a little tough for Sashi. Gonna need to get their uh, best foot forward here early, or we could be seeing another Guns upset and the 2 0 coming through. And if you'll remember, Alan, it was actually the T side on Mirage where we were quite impressed with them early. It was simple, it was straightforward, very effective. Down go they uh, down the vents, and simple, straightforward, and effective might just be the name of the game. There's four players down lower. There's a quest to try and do something about it. Iceberg will be the one to connect. Two shots at that. The bomb's now down. This could be a little tougher than I expected. What? Uh. What? Well. Ha How's that happened? We've said that a few times. Bomb Bomb's down, though. Oh, easy. He's had some absolutely ridiculous highlights. Looking for Lucky, but Lucky needs contact with his teammates before he goes down that vent, and that's exactly what Selter was waiting for. Knew where he'd be coming from. And not on the bomb, but Mr. shows why. So Easy knows they're off that C4 now. Quez now trying to stick it, but it's a full 10 second. Easy's pulling with him, trying to get the audio cube. He's got the kill, and it's over. There's nothing to do with the first fire to finish it. Why not, Easy? Go off. They win the rounds by like the, the if you draw out like a flow chart of the round, they just win it by the most ridiculous route. That player flanking ramp had a basically a hundred percent kill on Quez, because Quez was worried so much about control and, and players lower. <laughs> and even after losing that, the remaining two for guns do massive work. Sashi have even here they've decided we need rifles out immediately. They'll be echoing this round. When we get to the guns, they can only lose one or we're in overtime and obviously two and they've lost the series. That is... Slim margins. <laughs> Happy thought he's got a timing there. He's a hint of an ankle and... Not to be. Well, all right. Eight rounds in a row run back starts now. I'll tell you what, whoever bet on uh, guns today is feeling well, hella rich, to be honest. <laughs> Nobody would have anticipated this. Truly not. A stunner. The maddest part is, despite this series starting an hour later than the other other side of this other round, it, guns might be the first team in the other bracket fine. As well. That is mind boggling. That's mind boggling. I can't wrap my brain around it. It's not like they've had an easy bracket either. They do NIP in Sasha the best of at least four teams in this oh. in this tournament. Look at this brawl outside. It, it's already a main advantage on for guns. It's already falling apart. They've got players down lower, the bombs coming down. There's nothing that can be done about this. Sashi has to save. I, I don't I actually don't think they can, Mike. I actually think You've got a high percentage chance of winning this map by going for this retake. I don't mean you're winning nine in a row. Yeah, they're going to go for it. They're going to try the retake. We saw some retakes, some frisky retakes on Mirage. It's half in, half out. Mist is on a different planet. Well, well what's Quez the point in this? Now in the atmosphere. It's the worst of both worlds. And Lucky knows he doesn't have time, so even despite that one kill, he's got to give it up. Guns have series point. 12 to 3 on Sashi's map pick of nuke. They have been stumped. Let me just check today. Okay, so one gun to save through. Played one series yesterday, but he didn't play. Can't be playing every game for them. Interesting. So maybe Sadame is now their fifth, but he definitely wasn't playing a game a couple days ago. 
Interesting. Either way, there's there's really no precedent for this level of. I say that they actually had a really good run in another tournament recently. Beat Mountain X in two zero as well. Two zero of Parry Vision. They've just come out of nowhere. hangs in the balance here for Sashi. Already a lot of damage taken. One hit, very little utility remaining. Bits and bobs, drips and drabs. Pressure on this. Two with the red box. Waiting to happen. Not gonna get cleared, Cap. Get that one for free. Iceberg catches one coming through the smoke. So here we go. This round is on for Sashi. They've got to survive now. And for easy, it might just be about damage find a couple more kills it's well worth it i think save actually because then you can drop two two ak's that would be more I'm looking you guys had a ridiculous map 17 and 7 he has been a problem with a capital p for sashi and our sanity and our sanity Well, he's going to go for the save. Did get that one extra exit, so a little bit less to bring through for Sashi. Let's have a look at his history. He is definitely a player that's totally... Aurora Youngblood, I believe. If you played for Aurora Youngblood until May... Mm-hmm. Is there any precedent for this level of performance? Let's see. if you're off the stats, he's an inconsistent player. He has had a couple really big events, so... I guess he's... I mean, certainly if he plays the style he has in this map every time, it, <laughs> that's not always going to work. Tabby! Two huge kills coming through, but Celta gains the gap, gains the space. Lucky will come back to shut that gap. Easy has gotten down secret, making no secret of that, to be quite frank. Will be well heard by Tabby. That's going to trigger the rotation coming through from the ramp player in Quest. Oh, he's burning. He's burning. Has to relocate. Now they know. He knows they know. And they know that he knows that they know. And that might just lead to a bomb plant here. Unless Cabby can do something about it. Won't have the timing for it. All money secured at the very least, and a very good chance at this post plant. There's not a ton of health on these Sashi players. The door open could be huge. I mean, the fight forward! Oh right. no! It's disaster! How can he do this now? He's not got the kit. He's not got the health. He has no utility to his name. Just trying to force a peek. They know the flash is caught off of those shots. They're doing nothing but toying with him. Just checking and making sure he's not on the bomb. Letting these clock seconds through. Bit by bit closer to destruction. There's nothing Gabby can do. Guns. Toying with him right until the finish. That is madness. Utter domination coming through from this team of relative unknowns. And they are in the upper bracket final, Alan. It's, it's bonkers. I mean... Bonkers. It's actually bonkers. They've actually only played...